Gather the people together, men and women and little ones, and the stranger who is within your gates, that you may hear and that they may learn to fear the Lord your God and carefully observe all the words of this law, and that their children who have not known it may hear and learn to fear the Lord your God as long as you live in the land that you cross the Jordan to possess. So notice everybody, you're listening. Gather the people together, men and women, and little ones. That means children. So Moses is saying, bring everybody together, the men, the women, and the children as well. Why? To hear the law. To hear what God has got to say. Why do I mention that? Because this shows that God's idea was that everybody comes together, men, women, and children, to hear the teaching from the Bible. And uh, see, in the New Testament, uh, where the children come to Jesus and the disciples say, no, no leave him alone, you know, he, he's busy, he's got lots of things to do. But Jesus says, no, suffer the little children to come unto me. Let them come to me. Let them come and hear what I've got to say. Uh, he doesn't say, go and find, uh, you know, we'll find a couple of disciples who will teach you and make it uh, easier for you children to understand. No, he doesn't say that. Why? Because if uh, the people who are coming to listen to him are his followers, they should be teaching their own children what it is that Jesus means. And that's the responsibility is, uh, in the church, and we know this already, that it's not the Sunday school teacher... That's a good example. It's not the Sunday school teacher's job or, or, or a children's church or anything like that. You bring them to listen to the person who's teaching from the Bible... And then the mothers and the fathers tell their children and explain to them what the teacher has said. Uh, and this is important, I know that we agree on this, that church should be an integrated church. But now, here's a verse that explains it's important to be able to point to the Bible and say, this is the example that God has given as to what a church should be, that it should be all-inclusive, a family thing. Uh, and you see, when, uh, when the, the, the people came to listen to Jesus, the feeding of the 5,000, that again, it was men, women, and children that came along. They all came together and all came to listen. Whilst the little children wouldn't have understood straight away what was being said, you know, their parents could explain that to them. Uh, and in time, they would have understood it. If they'd had time to grow and to listen and so on. And so this is my example of why church should be a family thing. An integrated thing, both men, women and children, all learning together, not taken off into separate rooms and, and, and taught something that is, has no relation uh, to the Word of God.